I've moved things around so I can get that where I want it so I can work on it. So we've got the subvaton mounted. Um, this is on here so as the adhesive that I've put on there has got time to cure. Uh, it's 3M adhesive and it does take about 24 hours for it to actually solidify I suppose. Um, it's just double sided tape basically you know. Anyway all the wiring's in, it's all sort of tidy in there, USB leads there, ready for programming. Um, that one goes to that connector there, which is the main power connector. Uh, that's for the battery, which I've still got to sort the um, main lead out for. The power lead, 72 volt, 3S power lead, that's the one. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my own battery management system or BMS and the reason being is I don't like the ones that you get from China and I don't really like any of the others so I'm going to be using an Arduino I don't know what yet um, I'm going to be connecting it to the balance ports so there's one there there's another one here and then there's another one down there anyway and I'm going to have an LCD of some kind or an LED, OLED, I don't know. I'm going to put it up there. Now, I've also, very crudely, and it don't look very nice at the minute, but I've got a switch box, which doesn't do anything. Uh, it's four switches. One for the front lights, for the strobes, one for the back lights, and I don't know what I'm going to do with those. This one here is for a variable resistor which is going to go to the cycle analyst and I don't know what I'm going to be using it for because I know there's some things you can actually do with the cycle analyst. I don't know if it's variable current or speed or... don't know yet. So there's that. Power switch. That's still not glued in yet or not attached. I need to do that. So there's the main power switch, power connector. So the next thing to do, um, what is the next thing to do? I really don't know. While I think about it, there's a lot of people who said to me, why don't you get the Stealth B52 or why don't you go and get the Enduro frame? Uh, the reason why is I don't want to. Number one, I like building things and I like building things the way that I want it. This is going to be how I want it. I'm thinking of putting a cowling across there as well. Um, I've still got to put some cowling underneath to protect the bottom of the batteries. Anyway, the B52 or the Stealth and the E uh, Enduro frame, number one, they are too bloody heavy. I have to carry this up two flights of stairs. I can't carry those because they're over 50 kilo fully laden and this weighs in it under 40 kilo so and I literally I have to grab it with the back wheel one hand put the end under the bars and lift it like that and carry it literally carry it up two, two flights of stairs so no I'm not going to get the B52 the, the Stealth or I'm not going to get the Enduro frame never unless I can move into a ground floor or something so anyway um, I think the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the power lead the balance, not the balance lead, the series lead for the three batteries so I've got to route it so as both of the wires come up here so as they plug into that yeah, that's the next one. And then I'll plug it in and see what happens. Fingers crossed. I've got these uh, these red LEDs that I've had for a long, long time. They're 10 watt red LEDs. And I've designed this uh, thing that sits obviously on the frame and it's angled so as the LEDs point backwards. Now this is a zip tie. All you do is just thread it through there. There's actually a, a channel for it to go through. You thread it through there, you pull it tight, and jobs are good in. So here's the wire. That's just the power wire, which is going to go up to the front, 
up to the top on that switch box. So I'm going to put the other one on and then I'm going to wire it up. Oh, lots of wires. I hate wires. What we've got here is, um, yeah, where are we? There's an Arduino Nano, which has got um, five N-channel MOSFETs on it, which are going to be used for powering the rear lights, the front lights, and also the charge for the headlight. Now at the moment I've only got this thing, which is That's all it does. Now that's all I've got at the minute. I'm looking for a, a bigger headlight. I don't know yet, but I'm skinned. So all I've got is the USB cable going into that so it will charge that because I'm always forgetting to, char uh, to charge it. So one of those MOSFETs goes to that. Another MOSFET goes to the bat lights, which I'll put on now. So if I fire that up, And then on the switch panel here, if I can get the right one, so that's for the bat lights. There's two lights. One there, one there. Um, they're actually 10 watt. Bloody hell, they are bright. <laughs> they're 10 watt uh, red LEDs, 12 volt. Now the other switch, which isn't wired up yet, is going to go to the front, and this one here, is that one, that goes to that. So that's actually, you can see it's charging now. So that will make sure that's always charged. Um, turn that off. Oh, sugar. Turn that off. So that's everything off now. So that's how far I've got. Um, I've still got a print for the handlebars. I've still got to print the mounts for the front LEDs, which are going to be white 10 watt LEDs. Uh, the headlight goes there, obviously. Where else would it go? Um, that's heat shrink ready for tidying all this up, all this wiring. So what I've got to do now is wait for those to print wait for me printer to do the bars, bar bits and then I can wire the rest of the lights up and then I think when all this is in place if I can get it in place it should be nearly done I finally got the switch panel wired up and working uh, that one's for the front lights, that one's for the back lights that one is going to the cycle analyst for the um, the auxiliary pot, but I don't know what to use it for yet. That one is for charging the headlight, and that one don't do anything. It's connected, but it just doesn't do anything at the minute. So when I flick the power, are we plugged in yet, <coughs> and I put that light on. Well, that should be for the front, not the back. We've got the two strobes on the back and then when I flick that one we've got the ones on the front and then that one is simply the charger on that that's all it does it just uh, there's a 5 volt regulator inside here as well so that's all it does so it's nearly, nearly done. Um, the only thing that I think I'm going to do is cover the side panels, um, the battery panels up. And also I'm just printing an undercarriage, like a belly thing, just to protect the underside of the batteries. So as I can feed more wires down if need be. But apart from that, and I've got to sort this wire out, I've got to sort the... Um, I've got to get this in series with the three wires. Um, hide these somewhere. Don't know where yet. Uh, and also, I'm working on a battery management 
thing that I connect to those. I think I mentioned it before. So that's in work in progress. So as I can actually just charge it from a 72 volt or 75 volt charger and nothing else. Those are bright. <laughs> Let's turn that off. Oh yes. There you go. And then you've got that one, which is my headlight, obviously. The acceleration is f***ing brutal. Wow. Oh. My God, I'm shaking. I am actually shaking.